That's got to be a joke, come on. Have you seen? New sidekick? Oh god, Marty, I don't... We don't need a new sidekick. We don't need a sidekick. We're fine without one. Yeah, but, but, but think of the possibilities. Yes, I have, and I don't want one. But think about like the sponsorship that be possible because we'll be more kind of like wanted in like the showbiz world with like it's it's popular, it's what people do, isn't it? It works. It'll be good. It'll be good. Here he is, here he is, it's very good. Yes, yeah, so, so uh, this is where it all happens. This oh. is uh, HQ. Oh, brilliant. Oh, Martin, it's so lovely to meet you in person, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know we've chatted a lot, but... Oh, hello, Michael. Hi, I'm Kevin. Uh, it's Mick, actually, and that's oh, okay, Marty. That's... Well, you've done me. Okay, okay. Well, um, I've, I've brought my CV. Yeah. There's uh, quite a lot on there, as you can see. Yeah, I, I did have a look, because you, you sent me earlier, Mick. Hmm? Um, as you can see, I've done, I have done some uh, YouTube videos in the past. They're very popular. There's at least a thousand hits. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. They're okay. They're okay. So one of them, one of them, a thousand. Yeah, the rest don't you know, anything really. You know. I think we're we're looking for someone with a with a bit more experience in in political. Uh, I can do political. Issues. Yeah, that's no problem. Okay, yeah, so like this, this Brexit thing, for example. God, that's that's ridiculous. That's never going to happen, is it? Come on. Well, I hope not. Uh, yeah, right. Um. And oh. What is her name? Hillary. Hillary's blank. Hey, Hillary Clinton. Yes, Hillary Clinton. Yes. Female pr Prime Minister. President. Pre pre president. President. Yes. Well, we haven't got any choice. He's the only person, yeah. who's, he's the only person who's, who wants the job. We don't need anyone to do the job, Marty. It's a pointless job. Someone. So... All right, all right. <gasps> thank you very much. Oh, you won't regret it, Michael. Uh, Mick, you won't regret it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs> you see, it's gonna be a good year. Yeah, and Bowie. Oh, Bowie's gonna tour his uh, new album. That's gonna be amazing. Proud to announce that we we won. <sighs> we got this. <laughs> oh, not now, Kevin. I'm not interested now. Missed you. Answer. 
Hey mate, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. All right, yep, yep. You're coming round, okay? You're coming round tonight, okay? Um, yeah, the show, the show's on. Yep, yeah, it'll be fine. Um, who have we got? Um, 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 there's a musician. You know, you should really get yourself a vape, Martin. You know, cigarettes are, well, they, they don't taste nice. They're not good for the environment. I mean, these these have got to be, I, I think they're better. Yeah, for yeah. The environment, yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. I will. So, uh, I wish I'd come back on happier news but Boris and everything well, yes that and I've decided that we've got to end right here right now I have got what, to what? kill the monster that I created it's no, the only no, way it's no, the wait, only wait, way wait, Martin wait, wait wait but you're just back you, you, can, you can be there now in charge like you can have all the politics back you will be good you'll be good the proles Kevin's everything. Kev's destroyed the, the, the very thing that I created single-handedly, that I built up to what it is, or what it was. And now it's left in ruin. And the only thing to do now is to knock the whole thing down and build something new. I tried to stop him. I tried my heart. He would have had, he would have had the award. He, he was going to say it was his. And he tried to take it. Your award. Right, call him up. Call him, get him here, all right? Tell him that we're going to do a, a, a new show, another show. A Christmas special. He always, we always do a Christmas special. Right? Always fell for specials. He loved specials. Yeah, yeah he's quite gullible, isn't he? So get him here. we got to do this publicly. I, wanna, I want all of our audience to know that he does not stand for what Mick Riggers stands for. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good Christmas episode. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry. So there's another phone call coming through. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's my. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right, bye. bye. <laughs> hey, Marty. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm so sorry about, it. like, oh, mate, yeah, I shouldn't have said that, you know that, I'm so sorry. Well, well, we've got a Christmas special booked in, haven't we, so, well, uh, the world has to, uh, well, the world's got to keep going, you know, so, uh, you want to do the solo show still? It's Christmas, and it's all good. Oh, thank you, man. That's amazing. I think I think the uh, sponsors coming over later like, yeah, to have a chat about for the uh, Christmas decorations. Get some decorations in, maybe. With a special guest, kind of thing. With the sponsor coming over. But anyway, so if you want to come over for the for the show, when 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 yeah. When we're, when we're ready, we're, I'm ready. Okay, yep. Um, just just to let you know, we might need to get a magician from somewhere. Yeah. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Fuck! I'm gonna have a shave. Oh my shirt! It's got creased. How oh, am I gonna go in here? Be fine. Be fine. Let's get ready. I mean, what the fuck happened here? What happened to this country? I mean. How how have how have people been so stupid to vote for this moron? Brexit, 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 Brexit. I hear Brexit again, Jesus. I, I've been around the world. I've seen different places. I've seen how other people do things, and, it, and it, I tell you what, they we need to learn something from the world. Well, when exactly did you go around the world? This is recently. You've gone around the world, isn't it? We. Look, when else Where have, have you been? been? The world? 
Look, Marty, I only just got through the door. Let me relax. Let me. I'll tell you the story soon. I, I, okay. I, I, I am your father. Whether you like it or, or we like it or anyone likes it, that's just the way it is. We have to deal with that. But you disappeared a year ago. You could have been abducted by aliens, for all I knew. Abducted by aliens? Yeah. What are you... What well, happened to a, to a geezer who was on the show a couple of weeks ago? Like He'd been abducted and probed and everything. Well, what has Kev he's done to my show? Bit, bit. No. no, I wasn't abducted by aliens. I... Oh, that's good. Right. Long story short, I, I went to Brazil. Okay. But the, the rest of them didn't turn up there because I spoke to the geezer the other week and, and, he, and he was like, no, no. No, I, I know they didn't turn up. They were all blacklisted. We were all blacklisted. No one told me about that. So I end up in the airport and they won't let me in the country. I don't have the money to get a flight out of the country. So I'm just stuck there for, I don't know, I lost count. I lost count of time. But stuck in the airport? Yeah, but I, I, I set up a, a pirate radio station uh, and, you know, like tried to get a bit, a bit oh, of the like, message out there. Like, and, Brazilian you know, right here right now. And they, I mean, it didn't do too well. Not, not, English speaking was a bit of a problem, but yeah. they, yeah. so they, they moved me on in the end. They said, you know, that they essentially put me on a on a cargo ship. I ended up sailing from port to port around the, the world. Look, it, I got back here, okay? It doesn't matter where I've been or what I've done. The point is I'm back and I'm going to end the end right here, right now. So, hang on. For the last year, you've been stuck in an airport and on a boat going around the world. Yeah, yes. It must have been awful for you. It must have been so lonely. Oh, I... It was. Got my manifesto written, though. I've been talking about that for... Years. Years, years, years. yeah. That's good. Anyway, you... you Wait for Kev. Oh, all right, okay. you... I, I'm going to go and get ready now, but don't... Okay. Don't oh. give it away. No, no, right? no. This no. needs to be a total shock. Oh, I want to... Oh, yeah. I want to hit mm. him in the face with the with the information. Don't not, 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 no, no, don't, don't literally. Do no. I was like, like waited all this time for you to come back and get to prison. You know, I'm a pacifist oh, yeah. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. the right circumstances. Yeah, yeah, it just doesn't matter, yeah. right? I'm going to get ready. Don't give it away. Oh, no, no. Good to be back. I'm sorry about like last time. I was out of order. Yeah, well, well yeah, he was out. Yeah. It, it's it's uh, it was the sponsor. He was winding me up, man. He was winding me up. Anyway, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, the Christmas special. Yeah. And so, um, like, it must go on. The, that comment about, you know, Mick and. That was out of order. That, that, I must say. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Anyway. Right, so we're going on the Christmas show. Christmas special. Yeah, nice. Christmas special. We've got, we got a special guest. Right. Yeah. Christmas special guest. Well, Can we get? Can we get? Well, well, like Santa or something. Uh, <gasps> yeah. Yeah, Santa. Uh, yeah, maybe, the old maybe, maybe. wonder sort of thing. Can we get? Nice, cool. Right, well, you better fucking guess. You're ordering people and stuff. We've got like we can't just have one special guest. We need we need a, a magician. Christmas special magician. Yeah, get on it, mate. Get on with the magician. What? Magicians are us. I'm supposed to go to am I? Just uh, normal. Why? Why are you being more incompetent than normal? Just, just getting things ready. Anyway, like, I'm gonna guess your card, right? And I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna teleport you from here to you. Okay. One, two, three. Is it a six? It was. It was a six. Look at me. It's a red. red. Yeah. It's a six of that. Yeah, it was. That was pretty good. Not bad. Alright, I want you to tell me this. 
So you phone ring? Uh, maybe. Anyway, where's this guest as well? Like, where are they showing up? <gasps> what? How did you do that? Mad. That's amazing. Nice suit. Big rabbit. That's, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Oh, Marty, stop being so incompetent. What is wrong with you today? Come on, seriously. Where is this guest? Where's Santa Claus? He'll be here. I've been a good boy, really. I need, I, you know, I think it's about time you turned up. Oh, he'll be here. He'll Come be on, on his on. way. Right. I've got any more tricks anyway. Hello, and welcome to Right Here, Right Now with your host, Kevin DeKlein. Hello, people. A Merry Christmas episode. It's gonna be good. Yep, it's gonna be good. It's the Christmas special show. Hello, yes. Before we get started, though, let's get the general election over and done with, shall we? Well, that was a load of crap. Never mind. On to the next one. Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. Yeah, who cares? Fuck them. Excuse me, lying language people, I'm sorry. Um, anyway. Anyway, what have we got on the show again? Oh yeah, we've got on the show today, we have Magic! We have the Magic Man, uh, one of my personal favourites. I've been waiting many years to have a magi magician on the show. And, I have it on very good authority that Santa could very well be joining us, people. Yes, we will have Santa on the show with us today. It's gonna be so good. And yeah, let's look forward to Santa turning up. Right, so where's this guest? Where's this secret guest? <laughs> you wait for it, Christmas well, surprise. Yep, yeah, but the show's already started. What is like, Isn't it going to be over before they even get here? No, it'll turn up at exactly the uh, opportune moment. Well, I, I know Santa obviously does pick the right yeah, time. He can, yeah. you know, change time how he wants it. He's probably um, emptying his sack somewhere. Maybe he's found. Uh, <laughs> maybe he's found Mix Mum as well. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no. Can't go there. Anyway, he's jingling his bells, maybe. I hope it's Santa. It better be Santa. Or it'll be a Christmas surprise. Cool. Well, if, the, if it goes on like this, man, you're gonna have to go on earlier. Like, yeah. That would be quick, man. What, yeah. What are you talking about? I have ideas. Like, what we do? What can we do? Mm. We can do card tricks, mind reading tricks. <sighs> Right, card tricks. Yeah, a good idea. Come on, let's do something. Mm, is that gonna work? No, they, 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 they're not gonna see what you're doing. Like you can't just do it from from, from Kev's reactions. I don't think. Like going ooh, it needs to be something like. Uh, can you do mind reading over the airwaves? Ooh, that's interesting. Long distance. Yeah, that'd be cool. I could plan something around that. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Obviously, you know. Just saying, if we'd kept to the video podcast thing, we'd have had an issue right now, would we? Nobody wanted to see it on the video podcast. Nobody, nobody wanted to work with Magic Man. So, welcome back to Right Here, Right Now with your host, Kem DeKlein. Um, we are still waiting for this secret guest, wherever they may be. But I have it on good authority that Santa will be here shortly, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's very exciting if they turn up. Anyway, in the meantime, we have the wonderful Magic Man. Hello, Magic Man. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, good, man. Are you going to do some uh, Yes, I got some us? magic tricks for you. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Oh, there's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. It's so Santa. Come on, Santa. Come on in. Ho, Hello. ho, ho. Ah... Uh, Ah, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like we have Mick Riggers back. Mick, Mick Riggers? 
Mick. Yeah. No, no, you sit down. Can no, you sit, you sit, no, you sit down. We're about to do some magic. Excuse me, this is my show. Uh, we are just about to have some live music, uh, live magic on the show. Can you please let my Kev, guests perform? There will never, ever be magic on my show. Well, not if you It's stupid, Kev. It, it doesn't make any sense. No one can see it. Could have been the other video podcast as I said. <laughs> Now, I've been listening yeah, for, the really last, for the last year, uh, and I've got to say the last few well. months when you've taken over... It's got even better. <sighs> There's one thing that I, I did actually like that you've done. And, and I'd like to take a little bit of a different, different take on it. Well, you, well, you want to steal <clears> something <throat> else, uh, right? Steal away... Um, so anyway, Kev, sorry, sorry. Anyway, you for the you for the listeners oh, for the for the I, listeners. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You you don't sorry, need to announce the, me to my listeners. For the you listeners, don't need to, for the for listeners, the listeners that are my, left, my of what kick, I built, my sidekick, Mick Riggers would like to say sidekick. something. Yeah, sidekick. Yeah, my my sidekick, Mick Riggers Kick would you like in the fucking <laughs> side. What are you nodding for all the time? So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have Mick confronts. As you were. What the hell have you done to my show? Made it You've made it into a total farce. You, you, you have been talking absolute nonsense. When, uh, when did you mention the general election during the campaign? <laughs> did you mention it once? Who, Who gives cares? a fuck? This is Who a political cares? show. Not anymore. Like I said, it's entertainment, mate. Oh, entertainment show. And that is exactly the problem. You don't have the intellect or the capacity to be able to... You are a worthless sack of nothing. You killed one of our, one of our star guests on this show. The, the, the Hampshire Warrior is distraught. You that know was that. Marty's fault. They gave me the wrong information on that one, to be fair. That, that was. Don't blame other people. Well, don't point fingers at other people. It was his fault. You... You have destroyed this show single-handedly. You have taken us to absolute nonsense. Oh, you, you know what? Give me my, give me my seat back. No. Give me my chair back. No, give, give me my microphone back. No, it's my it, just give it to me. No. It's, it's my, my it's place. It's my place. show. Oh. I'm host my now. Show. I'm host. I'm host. Get it. Oh, get fine. Out of it. Fine. All right. You're like a child. It's like get a out baby. Of it. You're back for two seconds, and it's like big. Ooh. Hello. Oh. Alright. Hello. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Mick Riggers is back on the air. Now, I started this show with a simple ambition to make a commentary on social and political issues of our time. And then you left. Then you walked and away. And since it's been taken over by my former sidekick, this show has become a total farce. It's become entirely ridiculous, talking about alien abductions and, and nonsense. And so I cannot, in good conscience, continue this show. What, well, no, no, the hook, the, no, no, the hook, no, get, 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 get away from it, get away from it, Kev, get away from it. The host one, they, we are going to end the show. For good. The, they won't allow it. Right the sponsors here, won't right allow now. it. No, we're, we're not interested. It's fine. <laughs> well, sorry. Right here, right now, is off the air. Kev, it's your cue to leave. No, you can't do that. Get out no. of my house. No. Out of my show. No. no. It's my house too. Oh, fuck you, I don't need any of you anyway. Fuck off. Kev's been declined. Fuck you! Ah. Fuck you! Ah. Ah. Fuck off! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Fucking things, I don't need you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is guys. us signing out guys. of right here, right now. Yep. Hello. Oh. Uh, yep. Such a mess. That's a moment. Yeah, in it. Pop. Yeah. Hey guys. Um I've been touring for a while. Um and there's a there's a podcast that I'm part of that is kind of coming to an end at the moment, um, and I just wanted to say some some closing words about it. Do you know? Um, I hope you guys just feel my story. Do you know? So yeah, 
I'm Christian Wolf, by the way. Hi. Right here, right now. Let me tell you about my time on right here, right now. Was upon a season of Christmas, many a moon amiss. In the midst of the night, landed a man known as Grish. I was rapping on a stage back in 21 6. Let's paint the pic. Grish being wise because he wished to change lives with a bic. Lines in his mind like an illness, infecting the words of whomever who heard felt sick. Shall I give you a glimpse? Mr. Minister, Administrator, are you a minister or a witness with quick wit but not equipped with the fitness in his witness to manipulate more? Kind of shit. And so after I spit, I got approached by a guy called Mick. Shook hands, clicked. And with a flicker in his eye, I must admit it took me by surprise. He summarized, I'm the host of a show. You should be my sidekick. First hint was it was serious. I was in the mercy of my Murphy, so delirious. This ain't about awards we can win. Right here, right now, we gonna rip apart the puppets off their strings. Before summer, let's summon up a topic to spring. Can anyone find us a white to su supremacist to ring? It's a man a man bringing Kev. <laughs> nah, I joke, he's a lad, he's like the, f he's like the best of the bad. Her real name was Candy White. Yeah, right. Sweet surprise. So we had a video call via Skype. I mean, immediately I felt hyped. With ideas of a racist mind. How much shite could she say? How many racist lines? It answers. She says, Hi. Not even four seconds go by and Kev's like, I would hit that twice. Look at those tits. I mean, eyes. <laughs> I was like, bruv, we're live. <laughs> He's like, I don't give a shit. She just spread him white lies, and for the first time, I was like, high five. We got, we got bicker like man and wife, but be best buds for life. Day one ends. My friend Mick looks tense. Back hit the bottle till it's hollow, and her troubles on him end. There's no need to pretend. We can only risk it and wish. Need a biscuit and spliff. We can go again. <laughs> Let's bring in the empirical imperial position. We had Sandra Bickard talking monocle vision. Mentality stuck in Her Majesty's monarchy prison. Basically, Eddie has it on an opposite villain. Soon as I saw, soon as I told her my mission, she got angry and livid. I want to be done with the royals. I want to see an end to religion. I envision the image of wisdom and view it as a gift to be given, evenly, not to one in a million. If one are for all, then one could be billions. When all are for one, we always see the fall of the kingdom. Commie shit, hippie shit, everything is love and life is a gift kind of shit. She was pissed. Yeah, she got lit. Started throwing up me biscuits. <laughs> Ostentatious bitch. But twas her pride, not her prejudice, that left this regal dame's air and wit remiss. Stormed out all eccentric in bits. There's no need to pretend. We can only risk it and wish. The biscuit and spliff. We can roll again. And again and again. The walkout's becoming a trend. We had war bred Polinsky. A man that would step up any enemy within reach. Sycophantic credo, eradicate a creed to be the hero. Fear not though. Wrong came across a tolerance of zero. Bloody weirdo. Eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. So look before you reload. There's no need to pretend. We can only risk it and wish. Need a biscuit and spliff. And we can roll again. Plenty of takes. Plenty of mistakes. Mick takes. A swig of the vino. Sick of the wine and he's off to Rio. Looking online. No hint, no sign, no details. Not even an email to check to see him if he's fine. Every day I wake up with the same damn sigh. Deep breaths. That's fine. I've got Kevin Marty by my side. Sorry, Grish. Think twice. With my third, I should have seen a plot in Kev's eyes. Marty's being way too nice, playing both sides, saying we should let the sponsors decide. In walk two guys. All right, all right. Let me summarize. They took away my biscuits and pie with one budget slice. This and that got said. Kev became the head. Right there and right then, I wish they shot me dead. 
what came and of what's to come next, I promise you all I couldn't have titled it better with subs. They put it in text. Kev in decline. The sound speed, camera rolling, we are live in five, four. Hello and welcome to Rigorous with me, Mick Riggers. We shall overcome, no passeran. In today's news, more horror from the British government as Boris Johnson sells off working class children to the slave trade. <laughs> 